it's a little it's a little Quentin. You get a little feel for the Reservoir Dogs intensity. You've got the violence of Kill Bill. You've got Pulp Fiction style. A, a little something for everybody, wouldn't you it's, say? It's a little badass. It is a little, a little badass. badass for everyone. There's already talk of a, a, a prequel. Is there? Is that something that would be? Mm-hmm. I'm saying prequel. I'm predicting prequel. Yeah. I love it. Now, what he did, he wrote. He wrote. The, it's, he's been writing this thing for about eight years, and he's got the. I think two and a half movies worth, and he whittled down this one down from that, and uh, he's sitting on a prequel right now. How was it working with Mr. Pat? Oh, it was a blast, man. He was really cool. He was he really had a connection to the character, and it was just so much fun. He, and it was also he, he would kind of keep in character a lot when he was around the camera. So it was like hanging out with the character that I had written, which was that really great. Cool. Quinn said that uh, the movie god smiled down on him when you agreed to do this film. How did you feel about him? Are you kidding? I'm so. And it was a no-brainer. It was such a great role, and it landed on my lap, and they're ready to go. And it was uh, one of those rare instances where you don't have to put any work into it whatsoever. You said in an article that it, that the movie gods smiled upon you, and he said yes. Are you still saying that today? Oh well, so far so good. All right, you know we. It's not it's not behind me yet. When it is officially history and things work out, then I will definitely say that the movie gods will smile. But I'm I'm in their good graces yeah. right now, so to speak. Yeah. That's what I love about Tarantino is he really crams so much more into a movie than anyone else. There's action, there's comedy, there's romance, there's illusion to great cinema. Yeah. There's shoot 'em up sequences. There is this moment that happens when I'm watching audiences watch the movie where it's like they're having a good time, the laughter is coming, they're enjoying themselves, and there is this, I can't believe I'm enjoying myself so right. much at a World War II movie. What's up with that? <laughs> Why did it take so long to make? Ten years? Well, it was like I, I had a different story. I had the same characters and the same idea, but a different storyline in mind when I first started writing it. And that was just too big. It was like a miniseries. It wasn't a movie. Right. So when I decided, to, okay, let me tame this and make this a movie, I came up with a different storyline, and that's the story that's there now. So when you got the role, did you have to go home and tell anybody, hey, I'm in this great film. It's called Inglorious Bastards. Were there questions about the title? Um, no. I think uh, when I told people... I was a bastard. I, I don't think anyone raised an eyebrow. No, um, sadly. Yeah, no, I think uh, that was maybe my typecasting. Yeah. Um, kidding aside, though, it, it really was uh, a lot to explain to my friends. I was going to be going to Europe to shoot a movie with Quentin Tarantino and Brad Pitt. It's not what what uh, people expect uh, from the temp in the office, and that's what was so fun for me, and probably why it's funny in the movie, because you don't right. expect it. I went out to dinner with some of the bastards and Diane Kruger uh, in jeans and a t-shirt in Berlin, and I saw her the next day in her movie star dress, and I could not even say hello. No. Oh. The transformation. Uh, she's the honorary bastard. Oh, she's a bastard. Oh, yeah. There's, wow. I'm not saying she's not a bastard. I'm just saying she's beautiful, too. <laughs> he's leaving, and, and Brad literally said, and by the way, tell Quentin he's a bastard. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you, well they, you, you see Brad again, you tell him he's a bastard. I'm going to let you two work that All out. Right, I'm cool. staying out of that. But you see, we, <laughs> but we say bastard as a, you know, we, it's an empowering it's a thing. It's a good thing.